What was the most shocking thing you heard the quiet kid say? Nothing. Let me explain. I took a class with Sun Hoi Cho, the Virginia Tech shooter, one semester before the shooting. The class was called Contemporary Horror. It was a one-time elective offered by my favorite professor. We read horror novels, and watched horror films, and discussed the craft of creating scary stories, but also how they reflected, or represented their era's fears. It was a great class. There were only about 15 students, and it was discussion heavy. Cho was one of them. I honestly never noticed him, even in that small class, until halfway into the semester. He wasn't quiet, he was silent. So on the day we all finally noticed him, our professor asked him something directly, and Cho just stared at him. I can't remember the question, but the nature of it meant silence was potentially an acceptable and funny response. So we all laughed, except Cho. He just kept staring at our professor. Our laughter awkwardly died, and after a few moments of uncomfortable silence, our professor just said, okay, and moved on. It was so strange. But I forgot about that weird moment, until after his rampage. That professor later told me, that Cho's papers had been disturbing, but the nature of our course meant the envelope was being pushed a bit, and it had never been bad enough to suggest he'd do what he did. That professor was a good man, and he admitted he struggled with not blaming himself on some level for, 1, not identifying how severe Cho's mental health problems were, and, 2, for the graphic and terrible nature of some, of what we watched in that class which may have inspired Cho. He knew that was bull, but a part of him couldn't help, but feel some blame. It was terribly sad. Edit, added the second paragraph. I was best friends with the quiet kid in middle school. It wasn't so much shocking as the stupidest thing I've heard him say. He got this thousand yard stare all of a sudden and just said, I can't remember what color my dog is. In high school, there was this really quiet girl named Grace. She was a pleasant person, but wouldn't say anything more than hi or sorry, unless you asked her something. Even then, she'd appear terrified. It was at prom, and I was in the parking lot of the venue we had prom at. I lost a contact, and had to run to my car to grab my glasses. In the parking lot, Grace was smiling and walking from her car. She looked at me, laughed, and said Ryan. Her prom date, just fingered the out of me. I still laugh about it to this day. 72 virgins is nowhere near enough virgins for eternity. That's like, a week's worth of virgins. Playing rugby, hooker fails completely at line out. Someone shouts jokingly, does anyone know any good hookers to replace Patrick? Quietest guy on the team, never hear him say anything. Maybe Patrick's mum can help. Proceed to fall on floor. Edit, line out, line in. It's all the same. So this one kid, who barely ever said two words, one day, asks the teacher for the time. It was at some after school thing, and there was no clock. The teacher says the classic, time for you to get a watch, which for some reason was funny to everyone else. The quiet kid doesn't laugh. He looks the teacher dead in the eyes, and once everyone quieted down, he says, so are you gonna tell me the kin time, or what? We were in like, 7th grade. One of my students hardly said a word all year until a couple weeks ago. I was trying to get a group of talkative ones under control, and she had enough. She yells out shut the up. I'm trying to work you king holes. Awkward silence followed, because I didn't know how to handle the normally studious and quiet one losing it. This was, when I was in my first semester of college two years ago. There was this girl who never said a word. The teacher would ask her questions, she would just not say a word. I can honestly never remember her even making a noise. One day the teacher got upset, he felt like she was ignoring him, and that she was being disrespectful so he, like an hole, said, did no one teach you how to speak? She stood up, walked up to the whiteboard, grabbed his marker and wrote, I'm mute, you foolish. Apparently no one ever told the teacher, that she had a disability, but she was one bad mother for taking his marker out of his hand, and writing that lol. In junior high, in the mid 80s the game Trivial Pursuit was all the rage. We played it in math class one day and this kid, Gary, who never said anything at all, totally spanked everyone else by answering every single sports related trivia question. He got a lot of attention for it, and I believe he walked a little taller after that day. 
I don't think I ever heard him say anything else, but I did see him sitting on the bleachers at a few sports events. At school, having just shown me the scope for a, supposedly his, sniper rifle, if the fire alarm ever goes off, and you can't find me, don't use the doors as an exit. What if we killed everyone with cancer to stop it from spreading? There was one girl in my school, who I've only ever heard speak once the entire time I knew her. It was during lunch, and two black kids got into a fight. I heard her say, under her breath, King niggers. We were chilling at a bar in Prague, and someone rolled up some hash oil and tobacco, and passed it around. The quiet kid hid it, and got even quieter. 20 minutes later some aggressive, growling black metal comes on, and out of nowhere he yells, kill your parents. We kin lost it. He was pretty happy with himself. The quiet kid from my grade, stood up one day, grabbed a broom, stood on a chair, and began trying to swat bees that got inside. One bee landed on the window where quiet kid proceeded to yell, die be die, and then swatted and shattered the window. He screeched when it happened, and then sat back down. Never heard him speak again. Well literally this question came at a perfect time. I was just thinking about this, and it was by far in sophomore year of high school. This kid was so odd that honestly no one ever really noticed him. But one day he's sitting across from me at a table, and he sees this one girl in really tight shorts and goes. God damn I could have my head up her for months. It was pretty shocking. There was this one quiet girl in my class, and she would never say anything, this was around 3rd or 4th grade, but I would always try and get her to talk. I would be nice, like when she had no paper in her binder, I'd take notice, and give her some, before she can ask. When she was searching for a pencil in her bag, I gave her an extra one I had. It was like small little acts. Picking up her pencil, when she dropped it etc. Then at lunch this kid was picking on me, I was short, weak, and very emotional back then. She came out of nowhere, and told the guy, I'll give you 3 seconds to walk away. I was stunned, because those were the first words I've ever heard her say. The guy slapped me, and she did a straight kick to his balls after that. I was honored, and shocked she ever said anything. She never said anything after that, but I did say thanks. Too long, didn't read. 3rd grade. Quiet girl kicks my bully's balls, after saying I'll give you 3 seconds, to walk away it was the only thing I ever heard her say, edit, texted friend that I did get to keep in touch with from back then, she said that quiet girl moved shortly after I did, she did have quiet girl's number, I called it, and it came up with, this landline is disconnected bs, now I'm struggling even more, I need to find this girl, the girl I texted though didn't even know her last name, no one really did I guess. What high school she goes to is still unknown, where she lives still unknown. All is not lost though. I'm still waiting on a Facebook messenger reply to see if another girl knows her last name. I did try just typing in her first name on Facebook, and I probably typed Elena's name a hundred different ways and found nothing. She is not able to be publicly searched on Facebook. Neither am I, but jeez it. I have one last hope cross his fingers, if you can all cross your fingers with me, it might just work. Edit 2, I learned that I won't, be able to talk to her. Through a list of people I got her mom's number, her mom apparently remembered me by name, and then she said, that she is in circumstances caused by family not letting her talk to anyone, or go anywhere for a while. I never was able to find out why, but you know, it. I'll update if I ever talk to her. If I ever see her I'll take a photo with her. Tomorrow I'm going to try to talk to her mom again, to find out what happened. Thanks for the help Reddit. If I ever marry her I will share anything, but her body, and love with you. Edit 3. Thanks again Reddit for all y'all who've cared about my little story. As someone pointed out it's been 5 months, and I want to add very little has changed. She and I still, aren't exactly allowed to talk, I've talked to her mum a couple times. I've talked to her once, and it's been better than the silence between the years. I've learned things like her current height, and seen a picture of her, one she took, when we got to chat once, but it doesn't look, like there's much to work with in talking to her. Her mother was deemed unfit to parent, or something like that, in court, against her dad's parents. I haven't asked about her dad, but I assume he's dead or ran off. 
I changed some of the things in this edit to avoid having too much info about her out there, but I know I won't be able to take any of it down from the internet for good. So far it looks like the only chance I'll get to talk to her again is when she turns 18 in a year and a half. One day I cut in line at lunch in front of the quiet shy kid. He's all like, hey, I'm all like, what are you gonna do about it? He's all like, I'm gonna rape your daughter. I'm all like, I don't have a daughter. He's all like, I can wait. I'm all like. Quiet kid sneezes. Boy behind her, God bless you. Huh, God isn't real. In kindergarten, there was this kid, Donatel, and he never said a word. He was nice enough played games and everything, but completely silent. One day we were looking out the classroom window as a cop drove by. Donatel opens his mouth and says police car. At the time, we were all excited to hear him speak, but looking back, that kid must have had some real dark history. This Dutcher bag kid, who constantly with people was in line, with the quiet kid and the quiet kid's friend. The quiet kid is a bit overweight, so when he gets up to the lunch lady and gets his chicken nuggets, the Dutcher bag says, you don't want extra nuggets big guy? The quiet kid out of nowhere just starts ranting, no I'm all set, but what are you up to this weekend? You wanna hang out grab some food maybe a bit? I like to be on top and you look like a bottom, what do you say wanna tonight? The entire line is dead silent. The Dutcher bag starts getting all off and acting like has gonna start a fight and the quiet kid says, okay fine you can be top baby. The Dutch bag kid leaves to the entire line laughing their asses off at his expense. No idea if the quiet kid was gay or he just knew that even jokingly suggesting the douche kid was a homosexual would upset him more than anything. But I do know he left the line with his delicious chicken nuggets and a huge smile on his face. In middle school, the quiet kid, Steven, had an arch rival, Robbie. In class Robbie always seemed to come out on top of their little scuffles, mostly because Steven couldn't really formulate or execute a burn or a comeback. He just rolled over and let Robbie get his insult in until the teacher stepped in. One day I was walking behind Robbie after that class and Steven quietly crept up behind him. Before Robbie could even turn around, he got as close as possible and said, if I was to come into your house and kill you while you were sleeping, I doubt anyone would even notice. Then he disappeared into the darkness of the science hallway. I don't remember the exact words, but that was pretty damn close. I was about 55% shocked, 30% laughing hysterically on the inside, and 15% terrified. Robbie never made fun of old Stevie again. In class we were studying genetics, and one guy was being a real douche and the teacher couldn't get him to shut up. Then after discussing inbreeding in dogs one quiet kid raises his hand and says, so is this likely how Peter, douche, became soaking retarded? Giving a presentation in class, pulled out a screwdriver, and said I could kill you, 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 and you, right now. If I remember correctly it was on safety, but he still got suspended. We sat in the classroom in I think 5th grade. My friend had done a powerpoint presentation about Eminem. He talked about that he lived in a trailer as a young boy. And the quiet straight A student stands up and says just like you. And asks to use the toilet. No one understood anything of what just happened. We live in North Europe. It's practically no one that lives in a trailer here. My friend didn't. Our quiet kid was Tommy. Tommy never said anything ever. Out of all the lunches we ate at our table senior year I think, Tommy was the only one who never told a story or even added anything to the conversation. He just always sat in the same spot along the wall eating his lunch and laughing occasionally at our jokes. One day we were sitting in the cafeteria eating lunch and sharing stories like we always do. My friend Raymond had spent the previous night with a girl named Haley. She was a two years younger, but already had a reputation of hooking up with a lot of different guys. So he was telling us everything that went down, kind of bragging, even though nobody was really impressed as we were aware of Hale's reputation. Anyways, Raymond gets done telling his story, then proceeds to pull out his sandwich. I think it was some sort of fish. It didn't look very appealing to Raymond or us. So he says, this looks disgusting, but I'll give it a try anyways, and proceeds to take a bite. In pipes Tommy, is that what you said about Haley last night? 
Everyone explodes into laughter, drawing the attention of the entire cafeteria. Raymond is just sitting there, mid-bite, stunned. I'm bent over in pain from laughing. Others are on the floor. One guy ran to the bathroom because he thought he was going to puke from laughing. Even Ray had to laugh. I never noticed him laugh, but Tommy had this sly grin on his face the rest of the lunch hour.